Designer emails got a huge upgrade. Designer emails in Sprout are how you design and build the emails that you send out through email marketing in Sprout. Here's a really quick high level overview of the changes that we pushed out and then I'm gonna hop on and show you them. Number one, you can now easily create designer emails using a new template, whether it's your template or a template that we've built for you. Number two, you can speed up designing a designer email using new global settings in your emails. Number three, the experience of building a designer email is a lot cleaner, simpler, and quicker. That's number four, it's quicker to work with. We rebuilt the substructure and it is so much snappier to work with now. Uh, number five, you can easily preview your emails on desktop and mobile to see what's gonna happen on both devices. And related to that, number seven, we have an improved mobile responsiveness, which means that everything that you send out is now gonna look so much better on mobile devices for your clients. So enough talking, let's hop into Sprout and I'll walk through the changes for you. So here in the designer email settings section, first I'm gonna do is click add new and then go into new designer email. Now this is the first thing you're gonna see which is new. Of course you can start from scratch and build something from scratch if you'd like to. You can choose from any of our popular templates or you can choose from any of the other templates that we have in the template library for you. Now if you've already created templates in your account, you can also see them here and you'll be able to start with them as a starting point as well. So you can build it once and then reuse it over and over and over again. For the purpose of this, I'm actually just gonna start from scratch and show you how quick and easy it is to work with. If I click add section down here, I'm gonna start with a hero section and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a two image section below that and then we're gonna add a quote section just below that. Now, if I close out of here, um, let's really quickly look at what this all looks like. I can click into any of these sections and we have this new change layout button and that's gonna let you change the layout for just this section here. So I can go ahead and swap between any of these layouts that I like here and maybe I'll just go with a centered one here and then I'm gonna click the two image one, go change layout, maybe use this nice card looking layout here and then for the quote one, I'm gonna change the layout here and choose something like that. There we go, so that's how quick and easy it is to adjust all of this. Of course, you can always still click this and you can click down to rearrange it or click down to bring that back around. So you can rearrange them and, and do all that just like you always have been able to. And of course, if you go into here, instead of these having on and off toggles, I can now turn what is shown here by turning things on and off here. So if I wanna add a button, I can add a button. If I wanna hide the content, I can hide the content. If I want my logo up there, I can. Uh, let's say I go down here and I wanna toggle something just for image number one. I can turn the headline off. I can turn a button on for that. So I can adjust all of that here um, on the side here under toggle items. So if I turn button on for both of those, there's now a button and there's the quote there obviously as well. Um, of course I can go in here and change different settings up here. Like always I can adjust all of this. But here's the really neat thing, the new global um, settings functionality allows you to hop in here and make adjustments and it will affect all of the sections in your email templates. So you don't have to go through and change it every single time. So if I go up here and choose maybe a different font pairing, for example, it's going to affect everything in here. So I can do that once and then not have to redo it every single time. If I adjust my padding, it'll adjust padding on all of the sections. So if I want to tighten that up a little bit, I can. If I want to tighten that up a little bit, I can. If even if I want to bring the leftover. I can do that there. So I can adjust this now globally. And of course I can override it section by section if I want to, um, but I can also just set it once and then I'll have to worry about setting it every single time. And same thing is now for headings. If I wanted to change the size of headings and bring that up or bring that down, I can override that per setting. Now some sections like this one right here, for example, by default is overriding it. So it has a custom style. I can turn that off and now that section is now also going to adjust as I adjust this. So you can adjust all these on the fly. Same with color. I can adjust on the fly and it'll change the color of all of my headings. So it just makes it easier to work with. I can go all capitals. I can go all lowercase. I can adjust letter spacing on all of them. 
I can change font on all of them. And same thing for content. I can go in here and content and say that I want the content to be larger. I can make the content smaller. I can change the color here to be whatever I'd like. And so I only have to change it in one place and it'll affect everything. And then of course, like you saw earlier, if I click into this and say, well, I want this heading actually to be overwritten. I want this heading now just to be larger. Then I can go ahead and do that and make it just for that section. And then the other ones will not be changed. So that's a really, really neat um, functionality that just makes building these a lot quicker. And as you can see, as I've been working in here, um, the tools to build this have been refined, have been simplified, have been cleaned up. It's a lot easier, it's a lot quicker. This understructure of how we actually build all this is has been improved significantly. So there's a lot of speed ups involved here. Um, and it's just generally a lot cleaner and easier and faster to work with here. So um, that's a lot of the changes that you're seeing there. Um, the last thing I wanna show you is just this desktop mobile toggle. Um, if I click mobile here, you can actually see what your email is gonna look like on mobile. If I go desktop, you can see it there. Obviously, a lot of that is some assumptions based on screen size. This is all fully mobile responsive. It's a full HTML email, so we're not just generating a bunch of images and putting it in your email, um, which will then be less likely to land in your client's inbox. This will resize and uh, resize up and resize down based on the devices that your clients are viewing it on. And so those are um, most of the changes that we have here uh, in the designer email template builder. It's a lot quicker to work with. It's a lot easier to work with. The tools that we built with like global sections are a lot easier to um, get what you want from an aesthetic standpoint without having to go in and tinker and spend too much time on things um, that otherwise you would have to just go and change every single time over and over again. So those are the changes to the new designer email templates. All of your old templates will work with the new builder. So feel free to open them up, start working with them, have fun and happy email designing.